are hanging out on location in the San Francisco Baylands with 30 species of birds. Springtime is sexy time. Time to play the mating game. Here we've got 20 eligible bachelors and one bachelorette. Let's meet bachelor number one. His name is Drone. He's an Aries, born in springtime, mostly Italian. Ciao, he Bella. has never seen his penis. He's a virgin. He's roughly six days old. He doesn't have a dad. He has a granddad. He comes from an unfertilized egg. His mom might be a queen or be a worker bee. He only has 16 chromosomes. Unlike his roughly 60,000 sisters who've got 32 chromosomes. That's because they had a sperm dad. All of his sisters are incredibly jealous of him. He has a nice big round butt, like JLo. He also doesn't do any chores. This lucky guy, he only exists to get it on with a queen. And the other contestants on this show today, they are exactly like him. Let's meet our bachelorette. She's roughly six to 12 days old. She's a virgin. Her name is Queen Bee. She is the biggest bee of them all. She loves to live in the dark 24 seven. She wants to win 100 million sperm. Our 20 guys are hanging out with 25,000 other bachelors who are aiming for her attention. Ciao, they Bella. live less than one mile away from the hangout, which is called the DCA, Drones Congregation Area. It's a spot that's been around for decades. It's kind of like that local dive bar that has always been there. It's about 50 to 300 feet up in the air. They swarm and they go back and forth cruising for that virgin. They have the biggest eyes that you can imagine possible. They also have pheromones that they smell, so they're looking out for her. They actually will hang out at more than one DCA in a day. They get hungry. They go back home, eat some honey, and then they might go to a different location. Kind of like a pub crawl without beer, just honey. She is the belle of the ball. Think about these 25,000 guys chasing her about 15 20 minutes until lucky bachelor number one he has to jump on with his sex organ called an endophallus has some barbs in it it's a bumpy ride and only five seconds later the semen is inserted with such a blast and force that humans hear a pop and he becomes paralyzed he does a backflip because his endophallus is barbed, it is ripped off from his body and he plummets to his death. But I like to think that he's thinking on the way down, it was worth it. You would think that the other guys would get a clue. She's a bad date. Bachelor number two flies on over, cleans out the organ of number one, and he insert his own. And the process repeats until bachelor number 20. She's tuckered out. She flies back home over two miles. She doesn't want to do one mile radius because she doesn't want to sleep with her brother just by accident. She gets home and her worker bees pull out bachelor number 20's organ, cleans her all up. They will try again and again visiting those DCAs. Their sisters start to get anxious because he's just another mouth to feed. Come fall, they kick him out, so he's gonna starve, freeze, maybe get eaten by a bird. The mating game has been roughly going about 100 million years since the age of the dinosaurs. Every spring this happens, the lucky queen she is born, and those poor saps, the drones, they have their adventurous flight. That is the birds and the bees. If you like what you see, please subscribe. We're a nonprofit based in the San Francisco Bay Area. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for being happy. Bye! Happy mating.